Hello and welcome everyone. It's time to rip and it's part four of this Bowman Draft Sapphire Edition case break. I uh, hope you've been following along and enjoying all the hits with me. I've been having a blast. Uh, it's almost done though. So this is number four boxes, seven and eight of the 10 box case. So I'm just gonna get right into it and open them up. I've already got all of the stands set up here, expecting the eight hits, uh, three, the three parallels and uh, one autograph and two boxes that's eight i've actually been getting uh, i think in every time every other box has had uh, a fourth hit in it or a fourth parallel in it so hopefully that trend continues this time kind of looking to see if we can pull at least a base wyatt langford i feel like he's been the one that's been missing out of all of this is uh, why we've hit just about everybody else in the last video finally got a max clark uh, it was an autograph it was redemption and it said variation on it but i looked it up and it's just the out of 199 kind of the base auto out of there so uh, but it was still a fantastic auto I already put in the redemption code all right wasn't calling off the names on those, but uh, hopefully you saw those. Two firsts, two prospects. Goal is here to get uh, more firsts, and it's happened every time, than uh, the prospect cards. There's a nice Marcelo Mayer. And Fisher Anthony Gutierrez. All right, so first two packs. Just basing them noticing every time I open these packs they come out upside down and then as soon as I say that I finally get one right uh, hey the other Acuna brother and we have our first parallel and it's Walvin Francisca uh, so a gold sometimes I have been getting these as, as yellows but uh, the golds are a lot more bronze and that out of 50 so that's funny because in the I think it was the first two boxes in the second box we hit the I hit the Welbin Francisca Paparadasia the one of one so now I got the gold out of him so there's uh, Chase Jaworski and Nathan Detmer so let's get uh, Welbin put him in a sleeve we'll get a top loader up a little bit later so prospect card as the first one I haven't added them up I think overall the parallels have mostly been firsts uh, but it's kind of getting close to even up the last couple of boxes some of the parallels have been I'm getting I feel more prospect parallels You would think out of 10 boxes, and we're not done yet, there's still this box, another box, and then two more to go, so three and a half boxes to go. 320 cards out of a 200 card set. I'd see almost all of the, at least in a base. Hey, there we go, nice yellow first of CJ Kafus. I don't know him. Uh, so... Hey, that's a nice bookend, 75 out of 75. So, and he was a 50, the 33rd overall in the draft pick, so not too bad. All right, let's uh, get him in a sleeve. Our first, first parallel. I'm going to put him on the end over there. Uh, but what I was saying is that they'd at least get a base of all of the good guys. I think I haven't actually hit a base of Max Clark, just that um, auto, which I'd rather have the auto for sure. But uh, uh, no, no Wyatt Langfords, and there's our autograph. So it's uh, Jacob Gonzalez. So out of uh, 199, and so really nice, another you know, first round autographed. I'll get him uh, sleeved up here just one second. Take a look at the others. So 
one more pack and we should be getting one oh two more packs sorry so one uh one more do one more parallel here there we go speak of him uh, max clark so now we're really just i feel like uh missing the wyatt langford i think i've got i haven't added them up but most all the uh top chases in here at least in the base which is really nice carson reen and trey morgan and then Royal. So Wyatt Langford. Please, I feel like maybe they're punking me with uh, not having the uh, one one of the ones you're you're looking for. All right, Connor Burns, and we've got a red. I think it's a red, and not, yeah, it's, it looks red, not the Papra Dacia. So it's gonna, hopefully it's a first, and it is. No, <laughs> Ludwig Espinoza. I don't know him, uh, but another bookend, five out of five. So, and not actually a draft guy. He was an international free agent signing in the draft product. So that's something that's always kind of been one of my pet peeves. Is I know they want to increase the checklist so they can do the print runs and that, but let's keep guys that were drafted in the draft picks. So, still, very nice. I'm going to put him over here to have a red out of five in Sapphire. That's tough to beat. All right. That's box one. Let's get on to the second box. So, I'm kind of curious. Is it just me? thinks the draft and it's called draft pick should only have players that were drafted in it and I know they're not always going to be first I'm not complaining about that but uh, shouldn't it be all just draft guys or am I just being too picky I think it should be all draft so Whitman we uh, I pulled a black out of 10 of Joe Patrick Riley, Adrian Santana, and uh, Davison Gutierrez. I think I might have messed up my, nope, they were all first. Kind of keeping up pile. I can't really see them up front of the firsts and the non and the prospects. Non firsts. Keep wanting to rip those upside down. All right. Seth Kiner. Sean Walton, Cole Carrigo, and a Cam Collier. So still, Wyatt Langford is eluding us. I'm hoping that's a good sign and he's gonna pop out in a low numbered auto. So looks like we're gonna get uh, a yellow of Valdez. This is kind of what I'm going to say. I've been getting the first few boxes. Most of the parallels are almost always first. Last couple of boxes, I feel like it's been a lot of prospects in the parallels. So, overall, I guess it's probably averaging out in the box. So, we put that uh, Valdez. There's another free agent, international free agent and not a uh, draft pick. All right, three more hits do us. Walton, Cam Fisher, and Anthony Gutierrez. I'm usually not a set builder. It'd be interesting to see if, out of a case of this, if you could actually have a set. I know we don't now because we don't have a white Langford. So an orange coming up here. So hopefully let's bust that trend and get uh, get a first. Is it going to be Jacob Perry and another prospect on an orange? So 20 out of uh, 25. At least he was a he's a you know Jacob's a good prospect, a first rounder. 
So it's a decent card. But you, you want to see it in first. All right, Nathan there. So let's get Jacob sleeved up. So one more hit and one more auto. One more parallel, one more auto in the last three packs. Over here. So there we go. Ty Floyd is our auto. So we've been getting kind of a, a parallel auto, at least they have in most of them, uh, out of the two boxes here. But Ty, another first rounder. He's a pitcher for the Reds. So I think he was a late pick in the first round. Yeah, 38. So like the sandwich or compensation picks, however they do that between the rounds. So let's put him their second auto next to Jacob and then we've got uh, Jackson Baumgartner and Carlos Jorge Jorge oh still two packs What's left to go I'm off counting by one so and no bonus in this one so we Every other box, I feel like I've gotten a fourth hit, fourth parallel. It hasn't shown up in these two boxes. Maybe it's in the last two boxes. They each have one. All right, here we go. So I really appreciate everybody who has been watching and following along. Let me know what you've been thinking about it. Um, so last one here is going to be a yellow. And at least then it's a first. There we go. So kind of breaking the trend there. Dylan Quaestad. Haven't uh, noticed Dylan that before. Fifth rounder. 150th overall. Ooh, with the hero. And then uh, the last one. I'm glad that wasn't the Wyatt, the Chris Clark. So there you have it. Boxes number seven and eight of the case. We're almost done with the case break. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think of the cards. I think hitting red, a couple of golds, some yellows. Would have liked them to have been first, but I'm still happy with it overall. Been very, uh, having a lot of fun. So hopefully you've been too. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and follow along and come back for the wrap-up and case finale. Talk to you later.